just for a moment I went alone lost my focus you already know Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I have a fashion haul. It's been a while since I filmed one of these but in my vlogs every time I walked into a store or was wearing something, so many of you guys are curious about what I was wearing and what I bought. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share some newly discovered brands as well as the try on haul because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy these. So um, yeah, let's get started because I do have a lot of brands that I wanted to talk about. We'll start with what I'm wearing and first we have the Peace Minus One shirt. PMO is G-Dragon's label and I always wanted like a belt or a bucket hat from there but every time I check online it's either sold out or it is quite pricey. But I got this shirt at the Lotte Young Plaza. Um, on the first floor there are lots of K-pop merchandise and there's a YG corner. And while I was looking through it, at the end of it, I saw this shirt by the cashier and I just had to have it. I really like the back of this shirt. Um, when I first moved to Seoul, I went to G-Dragon's exhibition and this was all over. I actually have a poster of this. So I really like this t-shirt and I am probably gonna wear it often. <laughs> The second and last thing that I got from PMO is this tote and I really like how extra this is. It came in like this, I don't know, like a sandwich pack. Um, but it's a tote and this was in collaboration with Vogue. Um, it was very pricey but I thought this was one of a kind so I had to grab it and um, I do really like the quality of it and I will probably be wearing this a lot too. I just got into tote bags, they're super convenient and so much can go inside so yeah I got this tote bag and it says peace minus one Vogue the second brand I wanted to introduce is Issei and Issei translates to second generation I went to the studio and basically I learned that a lot of their pieces are inspired by modern and traditional Korea and then what's so special about Issei? what's so special? Um, I mean, a lot of our stuff uh -huh. is inspired from like Korean, Korean architecture, right. like traditional architecture, okay. art, design. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of it's like a Korean silk. Yeah. It's like you know, it's all natural dye here. Okay. It's like dyed out in the countryside. It's like a mix of traditional modern design and mm -hmm. also like that. Okay. Design. I bought Issei clothes, traded two, and now we're just gonna have a photo shoot. Right here. Show the other way. I mean, uh, he called. Justin just called me Angela. Get this view of Pukhansan. It's so nice. Photo shoot. <laughs> so I fell in love immediately, and when I touched the clothes, you can definitely feel the quality. So I bought three things from Issei, and first is this hat. I got the yellow one after trying on all of the colors and basically Angela, Justin, Andre told me that the yellow one looked best and it matched my hair color and I do want to dye my hair so they said that this would probably just look the best. Um, I don't normally wear a lot of color but when it comes to accessories, I do like to add a pop of color here and there. So I thought this yellow hat was perfect. Next, we have a humble jacket. And I really love this piece because I love traditional Korean wear. Um, I think hanbok is beautiful and this jacket looks very simple but I love the hanbok details on it and I feel like this will be a great piece for the beginning of fall because now it's just too cold to wear. Um, but yeah, this was like 50% off when I walked in so I just had to pick it up. The final thing that I picked up is this flannel right here and when you first take a look at it, you might be like, oh, it doesn't really look that special and maybe something that you can just buy at like an Urban Outfitters, but it's quite heavy, it's very warm, and again, when you wear it, you will feel like you're wearing something expensive. Um, I really like 
investing in pieces like this like jackets and flannels because then I don't have to buy like 10 different ones so um, I'm really excited about this one I know that I'm gonna wear this a lot during the winter time because I like to layer and because Issei is unisex I justified the price by thinking to myself that Abe can wear it too and he wore basically this hanbok jacket and this flannel to the meet and greet so yeah, we're already starting to share the clothes there. Um, but out of the three things that I purchased, I think this is my favorite. The third brand I wanted to introduce is Adder Error. If you watch my vlogs, you have probably seen the store many, many times because I love how extra it is. Um, but I finally picked up something and it is this skirt right here. It seems like a plain one if you look at it this way, but when you turn around, I love this detail. A lot of the styles are very simple and casual, yet you can feel, again, the quality in their pieces. I'm very excited about the skirt because because I can wear anything simple on the top but this little detail right here will definitely make my outfit pop the next piece that I picked up are these plaid pants from this Korean brand called II. Um, I've been really into plaid if you could tell. Um, but II is a Korean designer brand. I know a lot of Korean celebrities love it. And I walked into their uh, showroom in Karusukir. And these pants are originally, I think, over $100. But I picked it up for $20. So I was really excited about it. Um, and I really like how the ends are kind Kind of flared so I again am super excited to wear this during the fall I see a lot of Korean Instagrammers wearing this brand so when I saw the showroom I got really excited and I wanted to pick up a few more things but it just wasn't really my style but when I saw these pants I just immediately had to pick it up because I mean it was only 20 bucks the final two brands are not Korean, but I did find these shops in Hongdae, so I thought I would just include them. Um, but the first brand is Joy Rich. This is another brand that I discovered because of celebrities. And I believe that this is a Japanese-based, LA-based brand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was really excited because in Hongdae there was a pop-up shop, so everything was 70 to 90% off. Which is pretty great. Like all of this. I always wanted to. Oh, that's cute. This was not supposed to happen, but we get everything. First, we have this sweater and it says rich 77%. Um, originally, this would have been $130, but I got it for $30. And I love how simple this is. And I just thought this was really funny. I also picked up two shirts and first we have this gray one that says joyrich.com and this white one has discipline on it so I really liked that so I wore this on an Instagram post I really like the quality of these tops as well um, originally these were I think $65 but I got it for $15 so a steal the final thing that I picked up is this A Cold Wall bag. Um, I got this at a store in Hongdae. So many of you guys were curious. I'll make sure to link their Instagram down below in the description box. That store carries a lot of famous street brands such as Supreme, A Cold Wall, and they do switch up the pieces very frequently. So that was my second time walking in and I noticed that all of the clothes changed already so I would recommend checking that store out um, but A Cold Wall I believe is a British street style brand and I really like how simple this is I couldn't wear it too much when I was vlogging because I like to carry around both of my vlogging cameras but now I can walk out with my wallet, phone, and chapstick in here and I'm good to go so I really like how convenient this is it is quite pricey I paid about $120 for this and they were selling socks for $50 um, but it is a rising brand here in Korea a lot of artists are wearing it Dean and Crush so 
that was enough for me. That wraps up my street style haul. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I think I want to film a video on my top 10 favorite Korean fashion brands. So if you're interested in that, comment down below. If a lot of you guys want it, I might just quickly film that for next week. If not, I will probably save it for December. Um, but yeah, check the description box. I'll try my best to link all of the pieces if they're still available. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!